certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wop, 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 wop. That fuck em up. Hi guys, after this reel on my Instagram, many people asked me to show a process of how I edit my car reels. If this will be interesting to you, I will drop my full editing process. First of all what I start from is, once I drop my clips and music, I click on music layer and press L button twice to see the beats. Then I set markers on every beat drop so it makes me easy to cut the videos and sync speed ramping with music. Once I'm done with music and markers I move music to very bottom. Then I start making a speed ramp. Right click on your clip, go to time and select, enable time remapping. By moving this time here, I choose my speed ramp beginning. Once I'm happy, I go to my first beat drop where I set marker, then start moving this time forward again to choose the ending of the video. Once I'm done, I cut the rest of the video, cause I don't need it anymore. Then selecting both keyframes and by pressing F9 I easy ease them. In graph editor, I set my graph type to, edit value graph. Then I make a smooth curve to achieve a cool looking speed ramp. I use this type of curve on my every video, cause I find it cool to me. Since everyone has their own taste in editing, you can play around with a curve until it makes you happy. Then enable frame blending by clicking here twice until you see an arrow. Nice, once everything is fine to me, I pre-compose my clip. Let me explain why, once you make a speed ramp you can't apply some effects on your clip as tracking camera and so on. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected then click on OK. Then I apply motion blur to my speed ramp, I use RSMB plugin. If you don't have that plugin, you can use CC Force Motion Blur, that works fine as well. I suggest you to apply motion blur once you've finished editing and ready to render. Cause CC Force Motion Blur eat out all the memory from your PC and it will be difficult to you to edit video. Now I will make the same speed ramping to all my clips till the end of the music. I will skip that part and let's jump to effects, I will show you how I make effects step by step. Here what we have with a simple speed ramping. That looks cool and clean. Now I will make a cool effect with a turbulent displace, but first of all let's grab a roto brush tool and isolate the car from a background. Note, this is example what I'm showing in this video, you can make any effect you will enjoy. Always try to make selection as smooth as possible to make your video look awesome and stand out. Once you've finished selecting, click on freeze button and as the freezing is done, go back to composition. I like it but, let's add feather under the roto brush to smooth the edges of the car. Duplicate roto brush layer and rename to, car only. Rename bottom video to original and remove roto brush on it. I always name my layers, so I know which layer is original and which have effects on, that makes me easy to find layers if I will need them later. On original layer, add exposure effect and let's darken the background a bit. Then let's apply turbulent displace on car only layer. I simply play around with settings until I find it cool, once I'm happy with it, I duplicate car only layer and delete turbulent displace on it. On a bottom car only layer I continue to adjust turbulent displace like, position, scale and adding some more effects. Let's add twirl now and make something cool out of it. I always mess around with settings, I never set the exact values I used in my previous edits, and that's what I would recommend to you. Play around with settings and make all effects look as you will enjoy more, do not copy others, create your own style to be unique and make others to copy you. I don't know what I've created but, I like it and I find it satisfying to watch. Also I like to add deep glow on every effect I create. Once it's cool to me, I start animating all the effects. At the very beginning of the clip, under the turbulent displace I click on offset stopwatch icon to create a keyframe, then I go to the end of the video and change offset until I think it's enough. I like the edit, but it's not the end, once I finish with the first effect, I jump to my another clip and add their effects as well, then I play back my video and think, what I can add more to my videos. On that clip I will add Saber plugin. But, before applying Saber, I will mask the wheel, for a perfect mask and tracking I always use Mocha AE. If you don't have Mocha yet, download it from an official website, Mocha AE is free. In Mocha grab an ellipse tool and mask the wheel. Make a perfect mask, then click on track button, as the tracking is done, click on save and close the mocha. Expand matte and click on, create AE masks. Press M to open mask and change mask mode to, none. Now apply saber plugin. Expand render settings and change composite settings to, add. Expand customize core and change core type to, layer masks. Here as well, I change preset to any preset I will enjoy more and edit glow and core settings. Also will animate it until it makes me happy. 
I will skip Saber part cause, I won't add here anything. Here I will add something different, I want to change my sky, to do so, I will grab a roto brush tool and roto brush the foreground of the video. I'm happy with the selection, now click on freeze button and as the freezing is done, let's go back to composition. Now I will adjust the edges, first of all I will add feather under the roto brush. It's cool but not perfect, I will add key cleaner effect. Now that looks better to me, I will bring a footage of planets or something like this now. Make sure to place this clip below your video's layer. Let's now track it with our video, I will toggle off planet layer for a while. Then select our video and first what I'm going to do is, I will find a good contrasted black area or a dot in the video. Once we found it, let's click on track motion, move that tracker to that dot. I will make some adjustments here for a better tracking. First of all I will make the tracker bigger for a deep analyzing. Then under the tracker, click on options and check RGB and adapt feature on every frame. Then click on analyze forward. Once analyzing is done, create new null object. I will cut that null, match it to the length of your video. Now under the tracker click on edit target and make sure to select null. Then click on apply and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y then click on OK. Toggle back on planet layer and link it to null, make sure to enable 3D on planet layer, otherwise it won't work. As I play back the video, planet now moves with my video and looks so realistic, but there is a problem with edges. To fix it, simply scale the video and reposition it. I've downloaded 4K planet video so I won't lose the quality. The important thing in edits like this, is color correction. Add Lumetri color on your video layer. Under the basic correction increase the temperature, my planet video is in warm colors so I will match my video to it, I will make it warmer too. That looks epic. I tried to show you steps of how I edit my videos. If it was interesting and you've learned from it even more, let me know in the comments, I will make more videos like this.